Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A very good morning to Pastor Leo, Mr. A and all our esteemed brethren. Could we rise up to our feet? We're going to pray. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you thanks. We honor you, oh God. You are great and you are greatly to be praised, oh God. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God, you are King. Father, we honor you with the cows of our lips, O God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Happy Easter, everybody. We're going to be praying. We're praying for children, children and teenagers in the United Kingdom. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 7, in the Amplified Classic says, And I will give them a heart to know recognize, understand, and be acquainted with me, that I am the Lord, that they will be my people, and I will be their God, for they will return to me with a whole heart. Hallelujah. So we're praying for our teenagers and our children, that their hearts will, op- will be open and receptive to the gospel, that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We cut off evil vices, habits, and character from them. We declare that every child in our nation is protected and safe from wicked and unreasonable men and women. Hallelujah. We cancel every negative influence on our teenagers in our nation. And we're declaring that they will come to know of the Lord and be instruments of righteousness, being sources of joy to their parents and the society at large. Let's begin to pray. Randa Cabascori Broshen de Rosa Catacali Bron de Rosa, Jebregen de Rosa Catacira Brand de Rosa Cataca, La Bracando de Rosa Catacira, Mando de Rosa Catacira, Rondo de Rosa Cataca, Jebregen de Rosa Cataca, Jabregen de Gabondo de Rosa, Mataca Bade de Gabondo de Rosa, Jebregen de Rosa Cataca, Jadico Sarica Mando de Rosa Catacira, Rondo de Rosa Cataca, Zibraganda. Cabasondo, Manto, Sekila, Branda de Rosaca, Rakados, Kerebron de Rosacataca, Gibregin de Rosacataca, Rakabandes, Kira, Brondo de Rosaca, Gibregin de Rosacatakira, Manto, Sebrigin de Rosaca. Father, we lift up our children, our teenagers unto you, O car, Regabon, Sagila, Branda de Rosacataca, Rakabon, Sarikaba, Shende de Rosacataca, Regabon de Rikaba, Shende de Rosa, Barracabon de Rosa. Rosa Kataka. 
Barra kabon sairi kabadere rau sakataka. Rege bon sairi kabashendere rau sakataka. Father Lord, we declare O Kara. Raka bon sakataka. Kire rondere rau sakataka. Barra kabon sakataka. That the ears are closed to wicked counsel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Raka bandos kire brandere rau sakataka. Raka bon sairi kabashendere rau sakataka. Raka bon sakataka. Marreki bon sakataka. Barra bon sakataka. The voice of the wicked they do not hear. Ligra bon zakataka, baraka bon zakataka, kire ronde re rose zakataka, jebre gide re rose zakataka, ribrande re rosea. They are delivered from wicked and reasonable men. In the name of Jesus Christ, zakila branda re rose zakataka, banta kira branda re rose zakataka, rege bon zakali branda re rose zaka. We cut off ungodly associations. We cut off ungodly. Friendships in the name of Jesus Christ. Raka bandos kere bronde re rau zakataka. Jebregende re rau zakataka. Baraka bau zakataki re rondo re kebaya. Robokons kari brakande re rau zakataka. Jebrakande re kau zaka. Raka bonda ka, marrege bonda riga ba shende re rau zaka. Their hearts are receptive to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Raka bonda zaka taka, mande rege bonda zaka taka, rege bonda zaka taki re ronde re rau zaka taka. Je kunta raka ba sata kari ronde re rau zaka. Raka bonda zaka taka, yente re rau zaka. They yield themselves uh, to be instruments of righteousness uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to thank God for today's service. Hallelujah. Today is Super Sunday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to thank God for the word that will come to us today. Hallelujah. We're going to thank God for the, for, for the, for the leading of the Spirit in our midst today and the word that comes to us. Hallelujah. Begin to pray for yourselves. Hallelujah. That you will not return. You're not going to go home the same. You're going to live here transformed. Hallelujah. You're going to live here edified. Hallelujah. You're going to live here full of the word. Hallelujah. Equipped with the word. Let's begin to pray. Father, we thank you, Maraka Sotire Ronde Re Rau Zakataka. Baraka Bau Zakataka. Baraka Bau Zakataka. We thank you for gathering today, O Kara. Libra Kaso Derege Bande Re Rau Zakataka. Baraka Bau Zakataki Re Ronde Re Rau Zakataka. Barika Tori Gamande Re Rau Zakataki Re Ronde Re Rau Zakataka. Banta Kalabronde Re Rau Zakataka. We thank you for the outpouring of your spirit. In our meeting this morning, Ikira Bronde Re Rau Zakataka. Raka Bonde Re Rau Zakataka. Thank you for the impartation of your word, impartation of understanding and revelation of your word. Libra kasonde re rau zakataka, jabra kande re rau zakataka, zebra konde re rau zakataka. We come against any form of destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. Raka bon zaka libron de re rau zakataka, raka tereke bon de re rau zakataka. As many enter this place, Okara, lekri ko zara bron de re rau zaka. Father Lord, we declare that their lives are transformed. Libra kason de re rau zakataka, jebra kate re rau zakataki re rau de kabaya. Raka bon zakataka, shaka badele ko zara kabon zara ba shende re rau zaka. Oh, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We lift up our teenagers and our children to your mighty God. Father Lord, we thank you, O God. Regebozaka. For your word says, Father Lord, that these ones are taught of the Lord. And great is their peace, O God. Grace is, the, is your peace on our teenagers and children, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, we declare, O mighty God, Regebozaka, that they are. They, 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 they are kept in your name, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for the Lord they delivered. Rekebo uh, Zakata and protected uh, from wicked and unreasonable men, O mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ. We cut off ungodly associations. Uh, we cut off ungodly friendships, O God. Rekebo Zakata Kire Rosa Katakare Ronde Rosa. Father Lord, we declare, O God, that Father Lord, the ears are closed. Yes, Father Lord, to corrupting influences in the name of Jesus Christ. Corrupting habits, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the ears are closed to wicked counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. Sakira Brando Rosa Kataka. Rakabo Zaraba Shendere Rosa. Father, we pray, O God, that their hearts are directed to Words you are God in the name of Jesus Christ, and they're receptive to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ran taka bashon de rero zakataka, rekebo zakataka, rerondaka, ban taka libron de rero zakataka. They're receptive to your gospel, O God, and they're giving their lives to Christ, O God, and being used, O God, as instruments of righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Ran taka bashon de rero zaka. They're sources of joy to their parents, to their families, and so society at large. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we thank you. Yes, Father, Lord, they are growing up rooted and grounded in your word, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, such that they are not tossed to a floor by any wind of doctrine, O oh God. Rakabo but that they are built up by your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. And Father, we thank you for this morning, O oh God. We thank you, Father, Lord, even as we gather today, O oh God, we, our gathering is in your name, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you for that pouring of your spirit, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Santali Thank you, Father, because our hearts and our minds are open to receive your engrafted word, O oh God. As many as come here, O oh mighty God, our minds are open. Our minds are focused on the word today, O oh God. There is no destruction in our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord we thank you that as your word comes oh God it comes with power mighty God in the name of Jesus Christ doubt is resolved. Yes Father Lord this doubt, doubt is dissolved as we hear your word oh God we are strengthened and empowered by your word oh God in the name of Jesus Christ Father we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for miracles that are wrought in our midst today oh God in the name of Jesus Christ Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You may take your seats. Rhapsody time. Happy Easter again. Praise the Lord. Today is Sunday, the 31st of March. The topic is we hail from deity. The theme scripture today is from First John chapter 4, verse 4. And it says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. There's a misconception of the meaning of the phrase, Ye are of God, in the verse above. To some, it means to be on God's side. But that's not correct. The Apostle John's construction isn't in any way ambiguous. So it isn't about being on anyone's side. It simply means you hail from deity. Hallelujah. In other words, your origin is in God. You are his offspring. Hallelujah. Brethren, we hail from deity. It's akin to what the Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 18. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creatures. To hail from God, therefore, 
Christ must be in you. You must receive him to live in you. Hallelujah. So for those of us who have given their lives to Christ, hallelujah, Christ is in us. Therefore, we hail from God. Hallelujah. Recall the words of the Lord Jesus in John chapter 3, verse 3. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The concluding phrase of our opening verse gives us credence to this. It says, greater is he that is in you. So he has to be in you. Think about it. He gave birth to, to you to live in you. Hallelujah. Christ is in you. Hallelujah. The Bible says Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's in, in Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. You have absolute victory over all forces of darkness and the, king, and, and the wicked spirits that orchestrate evil because the great one lives inside of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Read how beautifully the Amplified Classic renders our opening verse. It says, Little children, you are of God. You belong to him and have already defeated and of and overcome them, the agents of un the Antichrist, because he who lives in you is greater, mightier than he who is in the world. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brethren, that means that we, there isn't anything that we'll face that should, that should make us feel perturbed at all. Hallelujah. Because the greater one lives in you. Hallelujah. So there isn't anything that should make you feel fretful or feel anxious because the greater one is inside of you. Hallelujah. You, over, you have overcome the adversary and their nefarious and sinister plans to, to cause untold hardship, troubles, sorrows, distresses, and corrupting influences in the world because you hail from deity. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tell someone that you hail from deity. And tell yourself, I hail from deity. Let this be your pres present day consciousness. You hail from deity. There's nothing you cannot do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you could take the confession after me. Dear Father, I boldly proclaim that I have overcome all the forces of darkness and wicked spirits that orchestrate evil plans in the world because I hail from God and the greater one lives in me. Because I hail from God and the greater one lives in me. I've overcome the sorrows, distresses, and corrupt, corrupting influences in the world. I'm victorious always in Christ Jesus. I'm victorious always in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just thank God for the word that you received, that you hail from deity. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we're going to be participating in some um, healing streams testimony. But before that, we have a promo around cell ministry. Hallelujah. God bless you. You know, we've heard the prophecies of the last great move of the Holy Ghost. Which is currently on. It started some years ago. 
this final move of the Holy Ghost. It wasn't going to be a 24 hour thing like, oh, there was a move of God, you know, it was on Tuesday. No, it's not like that. It's over a period of time. And the signs of the Spirit that He gave, that are in the cave for us, that move of the Spirit of God for the last days showed us. And a few years ago, this whole thing began. We're in it. And it's moving deeper and deeper into nations. What do you mean by nations? Nations as nation states and nations as groups, organizations, families, industries. These are all nations. These are nations of different kinds. And even what we call the new nations that are online nations, virtual nations, will penetrate it. And as we penetrate, we break down all the barriers. We break them down by the power of the Holy Ghost and we are moving, no man stopping us. Hallelujah. This week is prayer and planning week. Hold your cell meetings, invite everyone to your cell meetings. Visit and follow up those who came to your healing stream centers and bring them to church. Every member win five souls daily. Where you win a soul, start a cell. Bring all your first timers and new converts to Wednesday and Sunday services. Sign up to join a cell today. Visit the information stand at the close of your service. Sponsor the cell ministry mandate. Use the partnership account details in your church and indicate cell ministry. God bless you. There's everywhere. One morning, young Riaya from South Africa woke up to a very high fever. Before long, the fever escalated and he began experiencing rapid breathing, vomiting, and diarrhea. He was taken to the hospital and several tests and examinations were conducted, and he was diagnosed with bacterial pneumonia. Assorted medications were administered, but there was no improvement. Rather, his condition got worse. As a result of him hyperventilating, he was placed on a nebulizer and oxygen, but to no avail. The doctors became very worried that his lungs would soon fail, as there was no remedy in sight for his deteriorating condition. It was in this hopeless state that his mother registered him for the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. During the healing service, Riaya's mother connected and they participated from the hospital with faith in her heart for a miracle for her son. His moment of healing came when the man of God, Pastor Chris, called his name and ministered to him on the screen. Riaya, South Africa, chest, lung and blood infection. All infections are out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. You're free of the infection, no sign of infection anymore. It's all gone. It's all gone in Jesus' name, it's all gone. Instantly, something remarkable happened after this divine ministration. Watch on as his mother tells the rest of the story. Hello, my name is Yolanda Zamini from South Africa, Mpumalanga. I'm here to testify uh, on my son's healing testimony from the healing streams. Now, one morning I woke up uh, to my son having a very high fever and the high fever escalated to him hyperventilating, hyperventilation to diarrhea, vomiting, and uh, he was no longer eating, so we had to take him to the hospital. When we got to the hospital, they did tests on him and they said he has uh, bacterial pneumonia. So they gave us antibiotics to go and administer at home. So when we got home, uh, we started giving him the antibiotics, but the situation was worsening. Uh, it just got so worse, he kept on hyperventilating. Then we took him in uh, again to the hospital. They put him uh, on a nebulizer. They uh, gave him more oxygen and then sent us back home. When we got home, still got worse. We went back now, they had to transfer us to a higher hospital. He could not eat. He could not even drink water. He could not walk and play anymore like normal kids could. He was just sick and uh, always uh, in bed. He could not even engage with us or have a normal conversation like he used to do with us. All he wanted to do was try to sleep. 
my son was just getting worse. Things were so bad, he couldn't uh, breathe well. They put him on oxygen, they put him on high flow. They increased the levels of the oxygen, nothing was changing. Now the doctors were now having the fear that his lungs are going to get uh, too tired for him to continue breathing and it was going to end in another way. So now uh, the night of the healing streams, uh, we joined in and uh, we believed God for a miracle. And uh, that same night, pastor ministered and prayed for my son Riaya and he called him by name and he prayed for him and after he prayed for him instantly his oxygen levels will be low 60 and they hiked up in the world 100 percent and uh his pulse rate was so so high it normalized exactly at the instantly after he prayed for him I started screaming all over the hospital, the doctors came out, the nurses came out, some patients were also now looking, what is going on, what is happening, is everything okay, they were expecting the worst, then I kept on praising God and I was praying, I called my husband, we were so excited, we kept on praying and uh, we are happy because we have our son here and he's, he's healed, he's perfectly well and strong, uh, he, he can do everything that he could not do. He's eating, he's even eating more now and uh, he's playing with his friends. It is it is something else. We are grateful indeed. I encourage uh, people to watch the healing streams and to join in whatever situation you are facing. Our situation seemed so hopeless. We had uh, almost given up. So I would encourage, no matter the situation you are facing, there is nothing that God cannot do. He did it for us, he can do it for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Chris. I love you. Thank you, sir. Blow your trumpet for the triumphant entry into the nations through the healing streams. To give, kindly visit our website at give.10fortenth.org or call any of the numbers using the details now displayed on your screen. God bless you. Um, testimony time. Testimony time. Because of time, we just... Sister Valerie has got one. <laughs> oh, good morning, Pastor and Sister Ahi. Thank you for this opportunity. I think somebody this week said there would be some unexpected things happening. <laughs> well, about three happened to me this week. And um, one of them was... Um, I just innocently went into my bank in the town, literally had just said to somebody, a man there that was there, you know, I needed an answer to something. There were people on the machines over here. I was here. I didn't really see this person over here, but literally I'd only just take, given him my card and, you know, everything was running really smoothly. <laughs> and all of a sudden, this man over here, he, I think, he had a can and it just burst. Either that or he made it burst. I don't know, but it was all going everywhere. And then the next thing was he started launching the furniture in the bank, across the bank. And so, of course, I, I got out of the way. And I, I, I always start praying in tongues with this sort of thing. So I was praying in tongues. And I, my first reaction was to say, you know, I said, stop, just stop. I was going like this. And nothing was happening, really. And somebody with a gentle voice tried to stop him as well, but that wasn't stopping him. And so he was, then he was taking up something else. He was getting something else and launching it, bashing the machines, which were only sort of put in like a month ago. So they were brand new, virtually. <laughs> and I'm thinking, 
I'm here. I'm the Christian. I'm the one with the word of God in me. So I think what was happening with me, was I was praying out of fear to start with in tongues, and the pastor told us not to do that. So I, I took myself over to one side. I said, Holy Spirit, how do I deal with this, please? You know? And I started praying in tongues and building myself up. And I just said, Satan, enough! <laughs> and I just kept saying, enough, enough, in the name of Jesus. And you know what? He, he, but, but just before this, though, he'd flung an elderly man on the floor as well. And it was getting closer and closer to the rest of us. So, um, but when I said that, it was like a little tiny lull, and then he just stopped. He opened the door, and he just walked out as if nothing had happened. <laughs> Because somebody said to me, he must have run. I said, no, he just walked out. <laughs> so, of course, they weren't going after and they'd called the police and we were taken out of the bank. So that was that. And I think maybe a day later, I was sitting on the bus again, minding my own business. <laughs> oh, God. And um, so... Um, I was read. I, I like to take a book with me by Pastor Chris, you know. And I was reading the prophecy book, and I got to page forty-six, and this lovely young girl next to me. I, I don't know whether I was about to turn the page, but she suddenly said, "Oh, she said, can I take a photo of that page you're reading?" I said, "Oh, yeah, okay, you know." So she took this photo, and I thought, "I've got to talk to her." So I said, "Do you actually know the Lord Jesus Christ?" And then we just got into this conversation, and she said that she'd been going to a church, well, a churches I think for over the past couple of years so she's obviously searching and so I was able to tell her things I was talking about our spirits our bodies and various things and um, yeah I, gave, I had one rap to do with me so I gave it to her and so she's gone on with that and then my other real surprise was the other day um, on the praise of the Lord I'm pretty sure it was my name because it said Valerie and the amount on praise of the Lord and they just done, you know, going from the thousand, going right the way down to the bottom. I was the last one mentioned. I thought, why was I mentioned, you know? And this was two days after I'd actually done this, you know. I thought, whoa, you know. So it's been one week of <laughs> excitement. And, and glory to God, you know. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is doing something. God is doing something. He's not a quiet God. Hallelujah. Any more testimonies, Sister Shumi? Welcome, Sister Shemi. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Pastor. Brethren, my, my testimony is about the integrity of God's word. Hallelujah. You know, every service we come here, um, Pastor will, will teach us the word, and Pastor will say, Pray for your family members. And I was praying for my family members. I've got um, cousins who are not in Christ. And it had been bothering me. I started praying for them. You know, at some point, it just felt as though the more I pray, the more they're going the other way, you know. But I, I continued. So yesterday, I was talking to um, one of my cousins in Zimbabwe. One of my brothers, the one that said, me. I will, I will never, you will not find me in church. Brethren, as I tell you right now, he's born again. And he's actually, um, you know, he's going through, it's similar to cell ministry, but it's, it's a different type of Bible study. And I just want to thank God because this is the beginning of it, you know. Uh, and I was talking to him in the evening about this. He said, I don't know how it, how it happened. I said, I've been praying for you. I've been praying. He said, you know, he said to me, thank God for not stopping. Thank God for not stopping. So I just want to encourage you, brethren, those people that you are praying for, continue praying for them. Continue praying, whether it's a family member, it's a loved one, it's a colleague, it's a, continue praying for them. Because you know what? Your prayers are not void of power. Hallelujah. Praise God. So encouraging. Thank you very much. Don't stop. Don't stop. Persevere until Christ is formed in their hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would like to share just a quick one. It's a long one, but I'll just cut it short because it is still our year of redemption. Pastor gave us definitions, uh, and one of the definitions was turning in our vouchers or coupons for the real value. Uh, 
last year I started the process, one of my, my nephews, my, my sister's son, my sister passed away, so I took it upon myself to say I need to do something for him. So I was looking for this sponsorship visa for him to come over here and everything. So he got everything ready, but the people who are doing it were charging now ridiculous uh, amounts of money. And I was how am I going to tell him now that it's not going to happen? Because I haven't got that kind of money. Uh, so as I was in the process, there were, I was at work. My, I got a message from one of the, of the people who was telling me to say, oh, this kind of money. I said, oh, this is ridiculous. So someone who was sitting next to me said, what is ridiculous? I told her what was happening. She said, oh, have you tried this other route? Maybe coming to Europe, or unless you just want a UK. I said, no, even Europe is good. She said, you can come to study. What is the what, academics? I told her, she said, oh, try this. I'll give you the number. So she gave me the number, and I called the person when I got home. He said, oh, what have you got? I sent him everything, because everything was almost ready. He said, ah, I can get him a place to come and study here. Everything now got moving, and um, for the, the, the price was just a fraction of what they were charging here. And now the process is almost ready, and uh, almost ready to come over. And uh, I was just so happy, I said, we just need to keep this is our year of redemption. I said, we are cashing in. This pastor once said, if it's prophesied, this is a year of whatever, and you don't do anything about it, it will come and go. But you need to claim it for yourself to say, this is my year of redemption. You have to speak it. Pastor said, no, God, yourself, for yourself, study the word, and God will surely, he will not disappoint you. I thank God for, for, for his grace. And at this moment, we welcome the Love World Singers. With these songs, Love World Singers, if you were watching the, the programs a few days ago, they said these are songs of heaven. We'll be singing these songs in heaven. From Just participate, listen to the words, sing along with them, and you will surely be singing these, these songs in heaven. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. All praise is yours from our hearts, Lord. You're the everlasting Savior, the man from Galilee. Your sovereignty is forever. Your Lord is
an everlasting Savior.
Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank Him. Glabudas abradeses. Zeke baradeses. Manduso kabayada lebros. Libra dosa kobeledos. Sabarakadeso bredos obakulaba. Oh, give him thanks, give him thanks, give him thanks, give the Lord thanks, his mercies endures forever, the Lord is good, the Lord is good, the Lord is good, his mercies endures forever, it's because of his mercies we are not consumed, oh glory. That is a lot, but that's okay. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you thanks for you are good. Your mercies endure forever. Amen. Lord, because of your mercies, we are not consumed. For your steadfast love never ceases, and your mercies never come to an end. We thank you, Father, that they are renewed upon us every morning. And great is your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your presence with us today. Those are present here and those are watching online. Thank you, Father, even as we celebrate this period of Easter and remembering what the Lord has done for us but I will thank you that our lives will never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ Amen, Amen. you may be seated happy Easter to everyone present here and those watching us online glory to God hallelujah hallelujah hmm. glory to God I want you to turn to someone Tell them you are glad that they are in church today. Say it like you mean it. Say it like you mean it. Say it. Say it like you mean it. Say it like you mean it. Say it like you really, really mean it. That you are glad that they are in church. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm glad to see you all today. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I was thinking about the thoughts. You know, every every year we have this Easter, we have this celebration. But I was just thinking about 
really the in terms of how how does this affect me personally? The you know, personal uh, is it, is it oh sorry, I beg your pardon. My apologies. The children, you go your own class. Praise God. This is class for the big boys. <laughs> so from th three eight three to ten, I think. If you follow, start show me. Okay, at the middle of the arm. My apologies. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Shumi. So the children, if you just follow Sister Shumi, I'm sure they got something special for you. Praise God. Amen. There's something about the scriptures, the Bible, not until you make it your own, you make it personal you will not get the benefits from it. You cannot say the Lord is everybody's God. No, it doesn't work that way. It's when you come to the realization that the Lord is my God. When you personalize, when you make it personal, then you start experiencing this relationship with this God that is inside of you. Okay? Listen carefully. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. He, 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 he personalized it. Praise God. He personalized it. So it's important that you personalize these things. Amen. Now, what I want to, what I want to share with us in, in the next few minutes is the benefits of walking in the truth of what Jesus Christ came to do. The benefit of it. Truth is very important. When we say truth, I'm not saying somebody asks you uh, what day is today. Say today is Sunday. No, we're, not talking about that. we're talking about the truth, the word of God. That's eternal. It never change. It will never change. And that's why we have to know the truth. My son and I were just chatting over the weekend and we were talking about some things. And I was saying, look, I said, we just was saying to her how important it is to know the truth. You, you can pray from now to tomorrow. If you don't have knowledge of the truth, you will not be free. It's the truth that you know that makes you free. Truth. Truth is very important. You know, during the uh, Global Day of Prayer, and one of the ministers, I think Dr. Smiley was sharing about something, he said something about what Jesus Christ did. He defined eternal life. He said, this is eternal life. That they may know thee, the only true God. So eternal life is not really feeling. It's a knowing inside of you. A knowing, a knowing, a knowing. He said, this is eternal life. That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. You see, the power of knowledge. It's not chopping everywhere. You come to church and you... The, 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 one of the responsibilities of a pastor is to feed God's sheep with knowledge of truth. Truth. Feeding God's sheep with the knowledge of truth. Feeding you with truth. Truth. Present truth. As we in the scripture. Feeding you with knowledge of truth. And then your responsibility is to walk in that light of that truth. Walk in it. You walk in it. No matter what. Listen. See. You know. There are very many kinds of realities. Let me explain what I mean. If somebody has a lump in their body, it's showing there, right? You cannot say it's not there. <laughs> you understand? You say, ah, oh, it's not there. It's not. You're deceiving yourself. It, reality is there. It's a reality. But there are truths of God. God God's word is a reality on its own. So what God's word does is when he gives you his word, it, it's, it's reality. 
So if you have conflicting realities to your experience, you hold on to that truth of God's word until that truth of God's word becomes your reality. And Satan's job is to, listen, is to prevent you from knowing the truth. Once you've known it, the next thing he tries to do is stop you from walking in it. Look at it. He prevents people from getting born again. And once they're born again, he tries to stop them from walking in that knowledge of that truth. Because when you walk in truth, you dominate him. You see, truth is very important. Truth is very important. You see, <laughs> okay, many things coming to my spirit. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me explain something to you. If you know that there's only one God, if you really, really know it, and you walk in that knowledge, the Bible talks about the gods of the heathen. Say they are they are idols. He said, it, 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 they can neither do good nor do evil. So how come there, somebody says, somebody is their God to cost them? Are, are you still here? I want you to understand what I'm talking about. See, the benefit of the truth of God's word. The fact that you know it it doesn't mean that it's until you begin to acknowledge it for yourself. Let me show you something. In the book of Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, you remember the prophecy, Isaiah chapter 9. You remember that prophecy? Verse 6. We're just going to read, not all, but we're going to read some few, just two lines there. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. The first two lines. Can we, can we read it if it's shown on the screen? What does it say? No, 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 no. We're not ready yet. Are we ready? One, two, go. Let's read it. For unto us a child is born. Uh-huh. Unto us a son is given. Stop. What does that mean to you? No. What does that mean to you? I know you've read that thing many times. Did you ever stop? What does that mean to me, to me, 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 me? It's like, let me say, a husband and wife. Listen, listen. A husband and wife. They, may be, they might be telling a people, a group of people, and say, unto us, we are, we, this son was, we had this son. Don't, don't miss what I'm saying. Then God is telling us here, that unto us, a child is given unto us. Not, are you, are you, are you, listen, listen. Unto us, a child is given. Unto us, a son. Listen to what he's saying. This child was given for our benefit. Do you understand that? The child was born for our benefit. It's like it's given to us for our benefit. The son is giving for our benefit. <sighs> Listen, then I began to think about it. I began to think about it. He, see, he did not come for his own, for himself. A son was, a child was born for me, for, for my benefit. A son was given for my benefit. So I began to think about it. So what, why, why? What, 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 how can I, how can I apply that? How can I use that information? That divine information that's given to me, how can I use it? How do I use it? So 
So when we talk about Easter, there will be no Easter if a child was not born. <laughs> no, there will not be any Easter. If his own will not give, forget it, there will not be any Easter. Look at what the angel said to Joseph. When Joseph was contemplating about Mary being the virgin, having a child, he was thinking about what he was going to do. And the angel appeared to Joseph in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, and started talking to him. He says, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, he says, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall bring forth. Those, it was, it was re echoing what Isaiah already said. He says, You shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Think about it for a moment. It says, unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And it didn't really go into the details for why it was given. It didn't tell us why. But the angel is telling us here, telling Joseph that, look, Joseph, you shall bring forth a son. Mary shall bring forth a son. You shall call his name Jesus because he shall save his people from what? Their sins. That's one of the benefits what the child was given. I want to remember this. We're talking about sins here. Sin is a nature. You hear what I'm saying? Sin is a nature. When Jesus came, he, was, he became sin. I want you to understand what I'm saying. Let me explain it this way. When we, everybody that was born naturally, because of, of the, what Adam did, everybody had that sin nature. There was, a, there was something in us that was stimulating sin. It's a nature. No matter how good you are, that nature is there. You, you, you sin, it's there. Are you following me? It's a nature. And so, because of the Lord Jesus Christ coming, the one of the plans was for him to become sin. And he became sin. And when he became sin, on the cross, the, the Father have to judge sin one and for all time. What did he judge? The nature of sin. Follow me. Follow me. Now, let me explain it. If something is in nature, it's part of you. And this is why you have to understand when we're talking about when you're born again, you have to understand what really happened to you. When you're born again, there is a circumcision. There's a, I, I, okay, I don't want to go to that side because it, 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 I don't go there. But let me explain to you. There is a circumcision. And it's a reason, that's what I'm talking about, the knowledge of the truth. Listen, there is, when, when Abraham, when God caught a covenant with Abraham, Abraham was about like something years old, he, he had to circumcise. It was a painful experience. The first king of his private has to be taken off. Follow me. That was physically done. He felt it in his body. He saw the changes physically. But we, we were circumcised by the spirit of Christ. L listen, listen, listen. When we become Christians, the Holy Spirit did something inside of you. That nature of sin, he removed it. He circumcised you. That's why we, we cannot do those things we used to do before. So we say, Pastor, we still do. Yeah, because your mind has not been renewed to the reality of who you really, really are. 
I want you to understand what I'm saying. See, let me show you. And that's why we must come to understand this, this resurrection thing, what happened to us. Let me show you something. Glory to God. There is a circumcision. They say, unto us the child is born. The child was born for the benefit that the, the sin nature had to be dealt with. That's why Jesus Christ became like us. He did not take the form of angel. He could have. He didn't take the form of a goat. He took the form of a human being. He became like us. So that we will become him. So when he became like us, everything we, that, that could happen to us happened to him. When he became sin on the cross, God had to judge sin forever. So anyone going to hell is not going to hell to the truth because he has sinned or she has sinned. The reason they're going to hell is because they refuse to accept Jesus Christ. Are you, are you, are you still here? Because the, the, the issue of sin, God has provided a solution in Christ. So if you don't, ask, if, if you don't accept that solution, Jesus Christ, God has judged him. Sin has been judged in him. Now, he's, we're preaching him and say, look, accept him. What you could not be justified by the law of Moses. If you accept him, believe in him, you'll be justified. And so if you don't accept him, then you have to pay for your sin. That's, and nobody can, nobody can do that. Nobody can pay for it. And so this circumcision, it was given to us to deal with, I'm talking about the benefits. One of the benefits is the sin nature. Remove it completely from you, completely. And it's a circumcision. It actually took place. But somebody said, but I didn't feel anything. You don't have to feel it. It's by faith. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. So we were circumcised by the Holy Spirit. We were circumcised by the Holy Spirit. So I want you to see, look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Look at, look at it. Let's look at it quickly. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Is it on the screen? Can we read it if it's on the screen, please? Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For he hath made this sin for us. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Hey, this is not a joke matter. Is it just reading it? He said he made Jesus Christ to be seen. It was never a sin. He made him to be seen. By Jesus Christ becoming seen, and seen was judged in Christ, that made it possible for us to become righteous, the righteousness of God. That is a big thing. It's the biggest thing in the scripture. Righteousness of God is the biggest thing. Meaning that you are God's representative. <laughs> That's why I think verse 22 it says that, Christ, that we, are, we are besieging you in, 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 in Christ's stead. So when you are talking, you are representing Christ, God Almighty. It's a big thing. You can stand, and this is the reason why you can, you can, you, you see, you can tell a demon to go. This is the reason why if a spirit even appeared, no matter how, listen, a spirit appeared to your room and all this. Well, you know you are the righteousness of God. Eh? You, don't, you, you don't even fret any. Ah, man. Don't even move any. Don't be afraid. Of, because these things are the knowledge that God wants us to have. You are the righteousness of God. It's a big thing. It's not just, uh, it means that this, the nature of God is now in you. The ability, the power to do what is right is now in you. So Jesus was given to us to address this issue. Look at Colossians. Colossians chapter 2. Look at verse 11 and 12. We have been made the righteousness of God. 
So because of this son I was giving to her, the benefit, that's why this thing, the benefit, see, never let this knowledge of the truth of God's word, righteousness of God, depart away from you. Satan will do everything to make you feel that you are not the righteousness of God. He will try to do things to make you make your heart condemn you. Because when you are when your heart condemns you, you have no confidence before God. You don't you can never tell to a demon. Because you are looking at look how Savari was sharing, tells me she was sharing. She went to the bank and there was this guy just went sit and attack his mind. He's destroying things every in the bank. And she says Look at what she said. She said she started praying in tongues. But she was giving instruction to that spirit. But from a position of fear. It doesn't work like that. Are you with me? So she stepped aside and prayed more in tongues. You see what I'm saying? To address that, that thought of fear. And then she went back to the guy. So in the name, Satan, in the, stop. Even that, that talk, there's so much power behind it. I'm telling you the truth. As simple as that, there's so much power behind it. Because she's talking from a position of understanding of who she really is. Are you with me? That she's the righteousness of God. There's no need to have to be afraid. It doesn't matter the, size, the big size of the man. That spirit is subject to you. I want you to understand what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> it doesn't matter how big the size of the man is. Once you step into that righteousness of God, what's that, you know, you're bringing justice there. You're bringing peace there. Righteousness, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. Everyone is chaotic. You want to bring peace there. You want to enforce God's will there. You want to enforce the reign of Christ there. And she straight down and says, Satan, come on, stop it. The guy, that spirit said, ah. He started behaving himself. Started behaving himself and just walked out. <laughs> because somebody was there that would not allow him to take, take over. That's what we were talking about. Because of what Jesus Christ did for you and I, never you forget it. Are you still here? Glory to God. Colossians chapter 2, look at verse 11 and 12. He said, in whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. Circumcision made without hands in putting off, in putting off, in putting off, in putting off the body of, of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. You see what I'm saying? The angel said to Joseph, said, this, 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 this son his name shall be called Jesus, for he shall save the people from their sins. The body of sin that everybody was carrying, the, when you come, become a Christian, that thing is literally cut off from you. The Spirit of God is It takes away that body. You cannot see it. You cannot, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spiritual part of you that, was, that you cannot see. That's gingering you to do those things. It's actually removed from you. But if you see for yourself doing those things, it's because your mind has not changed. Your mind is still thinking the way you were thinking before. So now it's you to renew your mind. Change the way you think about yourself. It's a concision. It's a concision by the spirit. That thing is taken away from you. That's why it says that you become a new creature. That thing is it's no longer there. But the challenge is we have to renew our mind. So that thinking in the light of God's truth. Praise God. Look at, look, look at verse 12. Look at verse 12. It says, buried with him in baptism. Buried with him in baptism. Wherein, wherein also you are what? Risen with him. So we want to talk about Easter. It's only about Jesus. No. It's only, you rose with him that day. He rose up. Look at what he's saying. He said, you are risen with him. Risen with him. You are risen with him. I'm talking about the benefits of these things. So, so you begin to understand who you really are. Risen with him. Through the 
faith of the operation of God who has raised him from the dead. So when we talk about Easter, it's about us. Do you see what I'm saying? Listen, it's about us. It says unto us, unto us. Everything was done for us. So that we can begin to walk in that, in that truth of God's word. So if I was, you ask yourself, so if I died with him, if I was risen with him, how come these things, this, we begin to think like that. You, you, your, 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 your salvation is nearer than you thought. You, you know what I'm saying? Listen to what I'm saying. If you think and say, like you read here, it says, you will, you are, you're, you're risen with him. Risen with him by the operation of the power of the Holy Spirit. If so, if I am risen with him, why is this thing still happening to me? Are, are you with me? When you start thinking like that, if I'm actually risen with him, then, then, then you're, 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 you're getting to a place where you now begin to actualize the things that have happened to your spirit. You begin to ask yourself, if I have risen with him, if I have risen with him, so why is this thing happening to me? Are you following me? So when you think, why is this thing happening to me? It says that a king that he may destroy the works of the evil one. That's our job now. That's our job now. Think about it for a moment. A child was given to a son. Was, a child was born. To, born Born, son giving to address the issue of sin. Once that issue of sin has been addressed forever, Satan has no hold over us. He, can, he has no right to put sickness on us. My servants, they were talking, well, so you can see, there are some things you can endure as a Christian. You can suffer. If somebody says, because you are a Christian, this outright says they are, oh, they are treating you because you are a Christian. You can, you can, yeah, you can endure that. We shouldn't endure sickness, oppression. Are you with me? No, no. If it's for righteousness, sake, someone is punishing you, say because you talk about Jesus, or that's different. But they shouldn't be punishing you for anything, any other thing, oppressing you. Do you do you get it? Listen, when Jesus Christ came, when He came. When he died on the cross, and when he rose again, he went. He said, I am going to prepare a place for you. Are you, are you here? Follow me, please. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Let me explain something to you. When David, after staying in his house, God has given him peace, he began to think. He thought, oh, I'm in the house. The ark of God is not in the house. He began to think he was going to build God a house. All right? He was thinking, thinking. And then... The prophet Nathan came to him. Nathan came and he said to Nathan, it's in my heart to build a house for God. Nathan, the prophet said, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, build a house for God. And then when the prophet got home, the Lord came to the prophet and said to the prophet, no, go and tell David, it's not going to be the house for me. I will build him a house. I want to follow, follow, follow. God said to the prophet, did I ever ask anybody to build me a house? Never did ask anybody. But tell David, I'm going to build him a house. And the house I'll build him in, I'll make a point a place for him that in that place, the children of wickedness should not touch them ever again. Do you, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Please follow me. When, when, uh, when David thought about that, the, the prophet came and told him, look, God said he will build you a house. And in that house, that place that he will plant your seed, that in that place, the children of wickedness will not touch you ever again. They should not be able to touch you. Why? That place is Christ. We are not in that place. I'm telling you the truth. We are in the place of Christ, in a secure place. Where Satan has no right to touch us ever again. It's important that you understand the truth 
that Jesus did for And this is why when we pray, remember in um, um, First Timothy chapter 2, where it talks about, uh, first of all, that supplication, prayer, thanksgiving should be made for all men, you know, and, that, and for kings and for those in authority. Say for God's eyes that everybody will be saved, that they should come to what? The knowledge of what? Knowledge of what? Of the truth, right? And the knowledge of truth says that there is one God and one mediator between God and man. He said, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all. So he gave himself for you. So that no disease, no this, this is just going to come to you, attack you again. You know how much Jesus suffered for us? So much, you don't think about it. He suffered for us. He, listen, when they beat him so much, after they beat him and beat him, you could not recognize that he was a human being. You, you have to understand what's going on here. It's like when you're driving the road, you see a, an, an, an animal, maybe a deer or an antelope, whatever, is hit by a car. When he, then you, you get it, you cannot tell whether it's a deer or a badger. It's so, it's so you understand? The Bible says his vintage was so merry, it was so beating. They, they couldn't recognize whether he was a human being. They couldn't recognize whether he was a human being. So beating everywhere, blood everywhere. Think about it. When, they, when, 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 he, when he, the, the priest said, oh, you say you are Christ, they, 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 they tie his eye, they blindfolded him, they slapped him, they, say, pro, they spat on him, they prophesied to him, who, 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 who is slapping you? Where, where is the slap coming from? Is it from the left side or the right side? They put his beard off his skin. You, you know how painful it is to put your own, I mean, when women have it, you put, you put, it's very painful. He did that for, for us. For us, for me, you, me and you. And then we, we look at it and don't take it seriously. And then we allow Satan to mess up around. No, it, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. It took flesh and blood. That through that means, let, let's look at Hebrew chapter, Hebrew chapter, chapter two. Look at Hebrew chapter two. <laughs> let me show you something. Hebrew chapter two. Look at um, verse 14. When you look at this, you think it's a, 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 a this is matters that you will have to really, 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 really think about. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14. We will read it together. Let's read it. One to go, please. Uh huh. Okay, because now you have to think about it. Why did he do that? Why did he do it? Why did he not come as a spirit? No flesh, no blood. He's telling us why. That through death, through death, he might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. I want you to think about this for a moment. One of the greatest fears that man has is the threat of death. Are you with me? Someone go to the doctor and say, ah, if they have cancer, ah, that's the threat. Um, that means in their mind, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. But he said, Jesus took flesh and blood that he might destroy him that had power of death. He had it. He had it. He doesn't have it anymore. Look at the word. That had. That had. That's, is that past tense, future tense, or present tense? He had it. He had it. He doesn't have it anymore. But I tell you what, he was still threatening people that he can do it. Oh, I, I, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> he had it. He doesn't have it anymore. But he will still be treating people. Those that don't know the truth. Ah, I will kill you. I will do this to you. I will give you this. But he doesn't have that ability no more. But if those who don't know the truth 
and they believe those threats, it will happen to them. Because this thing works on knowledge. He said, it destroyed him that had power of death. That is the devil. And delivered them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Subject. You see that? Lifetime. They cannot do, they can't, they can't travel. They can't, they can't go on lifts. They're afraid they will die. They can't go on roller coaster because their mind, ah, that thing fall, I will die. You, you get fear of death. They are not in bondage. Fear of death. Fear of death. And if you look at that word destroy, it's not like, let me explain. Someone said, but you say destroy, no, you have to understand what that word means. That word, when you say destroy, destroy, it's, it's, it means to render idle, to make the thing ineffective. Ineffective. So when we say so now, we say, we're praying, let so and so die. Someone say, ah, ah, no, we're making, they were saying, they become ineffective against us. They will exist, but they will be as though they don't exist anymore. Do you understand when we're praying this kind of prayer? Don't think like, because if you don't understand what you, understanding the words you are saying is very important to the, to the prayer becoming effective. Someone say, die. Someone say, oh. No, we're saying, you exist, you will not become effective anymore against me and my family. I mean, if you understand what I'm saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what we're talking about. You, you, you render it unemployable. It's no longer employed. You know, you say, well, something's not employed. You know what it means. Something, you know, it, it like, it just run, run, walk, walking about. It doesn't, no, no, no tax for it to do. It doesn't have, a ta- it doesn't have that tax anymore. Before, you could look at someone and say, I'm going to tell this person out. It just go on like a hawk. It doesn't have that power anymore. This just made that possible. Jesus made that possible. So when you hear people threatening you or you have a dream or this, don't be afraid. It doesn't have that power no more. He has been rendered ineffective, inactive, unemployed. Why? Why? Listen, why? Because the issue of sin, sin was what gave him employment. <laughs> do, do you understand what I'm saying? Sin was what gave him employment because what we look at, look at the nature of sin. So anybody, that sin nature gave him the job. That thing has been removed, so the job, he doesn't have any job anymore. And he doesn't have right to put sickness or disease on anybody. Not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about a Christian now. Anybody. Because Jesus died for everybody. You understand what I'm saying? He doesn't have right to put sickness on anybody. How much more us? How much more us? So when you understand this benefit of the truth of God's word, you begin to walk in it. Hallelujah. You begin to walk in it. When you begin to walk in it, see, see it, when you say destroy, it will deprive of force, influence, or power to abolish, to terminate Listen, look at one thing it says. It says to terminate all intercourse with one. Intercourse. Jesus, Jesus stopped it. He could not. Inter- That's why Jesus said, here comes the prince of this world. He has nothing in me for us to inter- have intercourse. You, you get it? He has nothing. Look at him. Look at it. If you, it's like somebody in the car, right? And your phone have a Bluetooth and your car has a Bluetooth system. We you, you, you call, call them pairing, intercoursing. You, you have your phone, maybe your car or your house, it doesn't matter, with your Wi-Fi, whatever. Your phone is, is going to pair up with that device. Okay? It's like they have intercourse, they become one. That thing that causes him to have intercourse with us is been removed. You can boldly say, he has nothing in me. And true, it doesn't, it really, it doesn't have anything in you. That's why it tells us that we should not give him any place anymore. We should not give him any, since he doesn't have anything, don't entertain, don't start having intercourse with him again. <laughs> Glory to God. Don't give him a place in your mind. Don't give him a place in your body. Don't give him a place. Because if you give him an inch, he wants to become the ruler. 
Did you hear what I said? <laughs> if you give him an inch, he wants to become the ruler. <laughs> he wants to start ruling that place. Give him an inch, he become the ruler. So don't give him no place. Glory to God. Don't give him no place. So we see the sin nature addressed because of what Jesus did. And then he raised us up together with him. Please, never you forget that. Never you forget that. Now we are in him where he is. Oh, this is very important. He says he has raised up up together with him to sit in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers. This is the truth. Oh, the day I discovered that truth, I was set free for life. Let me tell you what happened to me. One day I was sleeping. And maybe some of you have experienced it. And like something's trying to come and press me down or press me in my sleep. So I'm shouting, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Eventually, I became, I became aware, you know, I was so angry. I said, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. How can this thing be happening to me? So I went to the scriptures. I started studying the book of Ephesians. And I studied, I came to chapter 2. Where it says, he's raised, he, you that were dead in trespasses, you have it quickened together with Christ. Let's look at it. Let me show you. If you know where you are, and you know where your <laughs> position you are, yeah. look at it. Verse 4. Ephesians 2, verse 4. It says, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, you see that? Has quickened us together with Christ. By grace are ye saved. And has raised us up together. This is exactly what we read just now in, in, in Colossians. He said, after he has circumcised us, he raised us up together with him. He didn't, he didn't raise us up so we are floating in the air. <laughs> Yeah, but we're raised up, we're just floating in the air. We don't, we don't have a position. No, he raised us up together with him and made us to sit in a position. Look at it. He raised us up together and made us. He made us to sit. He made us to sit. He made, listen, he made us to sit. For a purpose. For a benefit. He made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Why? That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in kindness towards us through Christ. Do you understand that? Billion years to come. They say, these, are, these are the people that believe in Jesus. God was so kind to them. He raised them up. They are sitting on the throne. In Jesus' throne. In Jesus' seat. Oh, understand. Understand, understand. You are seated, though you are here physically, spiritually, you are seated in a seat, Christ's seat in the heavenly places. And that seat is a seat of authority. It's a seat, just like God told the, Jesus told the disciples, say, look, the Pharisees and the scribes, they sit on Moses' seat. Anything they tell you to do, do it. But you are now sitting in Christ's seat. Anything you speak, that's why it says, it says anything you speak, angels, nature, everybody's hearing your voice. They are obeying your voice. Oh, my, 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 my. Raised together with him. Far above all principalities and power. But you look at yourself and you think, change your mind. When Jesus was raised, it wasn't raised by you. It wasn't him that was raised alone. We were raised together with him. You and I were raised together with him. So when we talk about Easter, don't think about Jesus alone. Think about you being raised together with him. Are you with me? Think about you sitting together with him. We're going to pray. Let me tell you something. Everything that we are experiencing here, 
the aim of it, the aim, any challenge you have, the aim is to make you forget who you are. If you can remember what I'm saying to you now, the purpose of anything that is happening to you, whether it's lack of money, whatever, is to make you to doubt who you are. To make you forget who you are. That you are actually seated. Glory to God. I say glory to God. Do you know that? That you're seated there? Do you know that? That anything you say is important? Glory to God. Let me show you something. I'm going to pray. Psalm 60, Psalm 49. Let me show you something there. This is what happened to many Christians. They, they talk themselves down. And when you're talking like this, they say, ah, you are boasting. You're not boasting. You just declare who you are. Look at, look at uh, Psalm 49, verse 12. Psalm 49, verse 12. It says, it says Psalm 49, verse 12. It says, nevertheless, man, 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 be in honor. Abide not. He said, in some chapters, say, a man that is in honor, say, and he does not understand that he's in honor. He said, it's like a beast that perish. Listen, a man that's in honor, he doesn't know that God has put him in a place of honor. He said, it's like a beast that perish. And this is the work of Satan trying to make us. Let me show you. Now we'll pray. Psalm 56. This is the work of Satan. He's trying to make us. To dishonor us. Look at Psalm 56. I want you to understand what we're talking about. In Psalm 56, look at verse 1. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. His fighting daily oppresses me. My enemies would daily swallow me up, for there be many that fight against me, O Most High. Then he now goes to say, <clears throat> Oh, glory to God. I want to show you something here. It says, in verse 5, it says, Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They, verse 6, they gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my step when they wait for my soul. All right? I want to see what, what, what say they're doing here now. So this, this is something that is going on. And you see that... They, what they plan to do is to continually to continually fight us so that we will not forget who we are. Are you with me? They, so they constantly fighting so that we will, we will now forget who we are. Look at, look at Psalm 62, verse 4. We, we, just, read Psalm, we just read Psalm 60, 59. Look at Psalm 52, 62, verse 4. And you see what we're talking about. What Jesus did for us. Look at, let's read from 3 to 4. We're still talking about the same thing. These things are, that once we come to that place, listen, once we're in that, we're all in that place, we're born again. So Satan's job now is to fight continually so that you forget who you are. Look at it. Psalm 60, 62. It says, how long will you imagine mischief against a man? He's talking about these forces. You Listen to what he says. You shall be what? Slain, all of you. That's what we're talking about just now. When you say slain, it, mean, it means they will become ineffective. They will, they will not be employed. They will just be there. They cannot do you nothing. They'll just be walking around. All they will just do is talk, talk, talk. They don't, they don't have the ability to do harm. Okay? As a boiling wall shall you be, and as a toddling fence. Look at verse 4. Look at what they do. They, let's read verse 4 together. One to go. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. Uh -huh. They delight in lies. Uh -huh. They bless with their mouth, mm -hmm. but they trust in worldly. You see what we're dealing with? Ah, God bless you, sister. In our mind, say, make, let her just, ah, this woman, he's just too easy. How can God be blessing her like that? Let something bad happen to her. But are you with me? Listen, I'm telling you the truth. This is why you must know the truth. Look at it. He said, they only, only, everything they are doing 
It will bring you down from that place of excellence. That place where God has made you to sit. So you start thinking, oh, why, why, why me? Why, why? You start thinking, you're thinking small of yourself. Are you with me? Every circumstance is happening to you. Look, just look at it. Look at it. Just name, if you can remember anyone that happened to you in the past, look at what that result did. It will make you small. Is that not true? It will make you feel you're inadequate. It will make you feel that, oh, you, you, you just to, to, to bring you down. That's their job. And our job is for us to stay up. <laughs> Do you get it? You can look at it. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. That's what they do. That's what they, everything they're gathering together, gathering together, planning, plotting to bring you. That's what they're doing. They want to bring you down. They want to bring you down. So if they're trying to bring you down, it's your, you have to make up your mind you're going to stay up. Or that you go down. I'm telling you that if you don't make up your mind that I'm going to stay up, you will go down. Your mind has to be strong. Your mind has to be fixed on what Jesus Christ has done for you. His, listen, his complete work, what he has done, your mind, has, that's where your mind should be fixed on. Not on anything. Not on your own ability. Not on what you have. No, on what Jesus Christ has done for you. What he has done. You put your mind on what he has done. He has finished it. He has done it. And I put my mind there. I am putting my mind there. Things are trying to take, take my mind away from there. To say, look at this. Look at this. You don't have this. You don't have that. You're not as qualified as that man. You put your, no, no. Jesus qualified me. Oh, nobody, nobody accepts you. No, you put your mind. Jesus accepts me. Are you with me? Because all those things will bring you down. If you don't make up your mind that you're going to stay up, you will be down. News will come to bring you down. You're talking to somebody, only somebody will tell you something. You think, why did she say that? We're not discussing, we're not even discussing in that light. <laughs> your spirit is very high before. You normally talk to her or him on the phone. You just feel that. I mean, for example, say, you just feel them start. Why did I pick this call? <laughs> but there's a spirit behind that person doing that. It's to bring us down. It's to bring us down continually. And if you don't make up your mind, no, say, ah, I know this is their game. This is their game. So let's stay on top. Glory to God. Let's stay on top. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Make up your mind that you have been raised together with Christ. You have been raised together with him. You are seated together with him in the heavenly realms. Make up your mind today. It's not all about Christ. It's about you. Make up your mind today. Don't let them bring you down from your... Listen, don't become like that man that does not know that he has been honored by God. Don't become like that man or that woman. God has honored you. No man can dishonor you. I'm telling you, except you. Except you think less of yourself. They are consulting. Even now they are consulting. You know. To bring us down. To bring us down. And they do it with lies. I want you to understand. When we talk about truth. They do it with lies. It's, you, you have to understand what's going on. It's like. You go to a place. And they tell you about your child. And it's a lie. I want you to tell you, tell you, tell you, tell you pastor, the boy is behaving like that. It's a lie. I'm telling you. They can do those things. And, oh. Hmm. If any two shall agree as touching anything, eh? it will be done. Uh, Mind you, go, you go and they say, your child is like this. You say, okay. Okay. Even if that child, because this thing will, it will, it will become. But the truth of God's word it says, your children shall be taught of the Lord. And great shall be the peace of your children. That's God's truth. I, I, I mean, who, who, who is me? Another thing says, God says, I will put in them a new heart that they may love me. He said so. So you, you, no matter what they are you say, no, no. God's word is true. You begin to proclaim God's word. My children shall be to serve the Lord. Great shall be their peace. They shall be taught of the Lord. Oh, glory to God. You, you start pronouncing the truth. Because with that lies, with lies, lies is very, let me tell you, some of you don't understand. Lies is, is dangerous. Lies kills the soul. 
this is so. So we're going to pray. You see, it says, they only consult to cast him down for his excellency. As we pray in the tongues of the Spirit, two scriptures we're going to pray with, two scriptures. This one, okay, keep it in your mind, and let's quickly turn to Psalm 140. We're entering new month of April. We're going to pray fervently. Glory to God. Look at new month. Look at April. We're entering April. Look at Psalm 140. I'm going to quickly read them. We're going to pray. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me, verse 1. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischief in their hearts. Again, it says, continually are they gathered together for what? For peace? For what? For what? So what, what's your position? <laughs> you are saying you are doing peace. They will eat your lunch and take it and carry your bag and go. They are gathered continually for war. So we are in a war. Whether you know it or not, we are in a war. Continually. Continually. And their work is to bring us down. That's what they're doing. We just read it just now. True imagination. They say they imagine mischief in their heart. They get it continually for war. They have listen, listen to what they have done. Look at this. They, they, I don't know how people do that. Say they, they, they have sharpened their tongue. I don't know how, you, how, somebody, how somebody can, can sharpen it. You understand? Say they have sharpened their tongues. Like a serpent. Are you are you are you with me? It says, other poison is under their lips. So they, 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 they imagine it, they are just shouting, and they speak a word, poisonous word in the realm. And so, but it could be a cancer. They hit the person, wow. I explained to you one day, what happened to me one day? I said, my wife, we're crossing. And I was just, we're going to shop, African shop to buy something. And all of, in the afternoon, afternoon, that afternoon, she was on my, I think she was on my right hand side. All of a sudden, I just heard like, it's like somebody shot an arrow. Hit me here. It's so sharp in the daytime. I just said, my wife was, I said, I just, myself, I don't put my hand like this. <laughs> I said, in the name of just out. I said, I said, look at what's happened. I went to the shop. And a few weeks later, I couldn't, I couldn't, I struggled to, I started struggling to walk. I started struggling to walk. My legs were now puffed up. My bones were so heavy. I went to the doctors. They checked x They said there's nothing there. I have commanded. I have prayed. One day I wrote to my wife, I said, I said, let me, I spoke pigeon. I said, Ah, you know they see this leg. I mean, some of you, sorry, I know some of you are English. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't know what I'm saying. I spoke to Peter. I said, can you not see my leg? What are you not going to do something about this? Thank God to have a Christian. I'm telling you the truth. She just put and said, she just said, in the name of Jesus. I didn't I, myself, I didn't even know that it was the spirit of arthritis. She said, in the name of Jesus, you speak of a child, is out. That's what she said. She said, yeah. I didn't know that that arrow that was shot at me was a, a child spirit. Are you following me? Yes, I didn't know it, it was, because it was short. When you shot, had God not had mercy on me, that thing, it was programmed. It's like a missile. I mean, you know what I'm saying. It's like a missile to start a in my body. I, when I come to church, they will used to sit down here to get up from here to walk to here. I, it's by faith. <laughs> my whole my body was. I said, my wife, it's like I have old man's body. <laughs> oh my body, I felt very old. I felt. Very, I'm telling you, God's truth. I could not. My body felt so heavy to get up from the bed. The programming of arrows. When my wife said, I went to, she said, I went to S3, they check everything, they said, no, 
then you know that it's spiritual. I mean, you understand what I'm saying? They, they, you, know, you, you know what I'm saying? Like two days later, I said to my I said, look, the thing has gone on. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> we, listen, we live, there is war. Don't be a casualty. <laughs> Don't, don't play down and say because you're coming to church. There, there, there is war going on. Wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and say, no, no me, no my family. So, let's pray. Look at something else. Look at what they've done. <laughs> Look at what they do. Look at verse 4. It says, keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from a violent man. Listen to what I've done. If, if like you don't believe this, eh? He said, who has what? Purpose. They have purpose. This is their, they are determined to overthrow your goings. You start a business. You start to, so somebody, they send somebody to come and, and squindle your money. You can, the business doesn't grow. We're going to pray. What's our prayer? We start from here. Every worker of iniquity Every spirit that has proposed to overthrow our goings in the month of April and beyond, in the name of Jesus Christ, be frustrated. I, 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 you see what I'm saying? Every, as anything that comes out of your mouth, you pronounce on them. Let them be slain. Let them become ineffective. Let their imagination, let them be scattered in their imagination. Make a brain the haki, the book of source. Every man to a credo, manka, begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Young people, open your mouth and pray. We are in a war. Man say kebre do maha. Libre dusos. Pray for your family. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. Pray for your husband. Kartuse. Pray for your pastor. Pray for your cell leader. Open your mouth and pray. Pray for your children. Open your mouth. Students, pray, pray. Open your mouth. Any force that has come against your academic performance, they are proposed to overthrow you in your area of pursuit. Your academic performance, your career, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are frustrated. They are paralyzed. Calibro Duce. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Come against the spirit of lies and deception. We have been raised together with Christ. We are in a place of authority. Open your mouth and speak. Command them. Command them to be destroyed. Command them to be ineffective. Paralyze their works. Paralyze their works. Condemn their tongues. Condemn their tongues. Their arrows. Quench their arrows. Quench their arrows. Kill every dose. Every arrow. Every arrow that has been sent. Sent against us. Sent against our finances. Sent against our marriages. Sent against our children. Sent against our career. Every arrow. Every fairy dart. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be quenched, be quenched, be quenched, be quenched. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be quenched. Every lying tongue, be silent. Every lying tongue against us, be silent. We overthrow every falsehood, every falsehood. Bansuleke, lebredus asi. In our workplaces, in our families, that tools a calibre, they are gathering together. We terminate it. We overthrow them. Masu lebreke se kibradu bakada libre to kodos a kele mandis badus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Kilebridos come against sicknesses and diseases. Come against the spirit of poverty and lack. Come against the spirit of stagnation. The spirit of stagnation, the spirit of regret, come against them. Libre do so, Kadi. Spirit of sadness, spirit of sadness and sorrow, we come against you in Jesus' name. Spirit of regret, 
your you spirit of regret we cut you off in the name of Jesus open your mouth begin to prophesy declare who you are declare who you are in Christ declare what Jesus has done for you there is no death in us no death in us and in our family we come and get the spirit of death the spirit of sickness and disease they are far from us in the name of Jesus Christ we leave because he lives because he lives we leave we leave. in the name of Jesus none of our family members have any incident or accidents we preserve them in Jesus name Say Buddha Sukabaya. Oh, say Kebele Bele Bele. Zula Bradusa Kades. Mandus Allah. Oh, glory. Oh, hallelujah. Let them be paralyzed. Let them be brought down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That imagine evil against us. That imagine evil against us. That imagine evil against us. Let them be weakened. Man celebrate us also. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the sun smite them by day. Let the moon smite them by night. Let the stars chase them. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let their tongue be condemned. We condemn all their tongues. No weapon from against us will prosper. In the name of Jesus, every sharpened tongue is destroyed. Every sharpened tongue against us, we destroy them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, those tongues that have been sharpened against us, we destroy them. We destroy them in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Base quebrada lobes. Mandu sobra cada sasa. Zebari de sesquedos. Oh, glory to God. Now we're praying. Listen, listen to what we're praying. We're praying against dreams, webs of dreams, you know. The Bible talks about this in Jeremiah chapter 23. It said, it said they cause you to dream dreams. Everything God do, they want, to, they imitate. Webs of dreams so that they can entangle you. The Bible says... What is the shaft to the wheat? He said, it's not my word in your mouth like fire. It's not my word in your mouth like hammer to destroy them. Glory to God. We are praying against all these webs of dreams. They want to entangle our soul. Make those dreams come to pass because they want us to believe in them. And they are not our dreams. They are not God's dreams. They are the one causing us to dream the dreams. I told you years ago how I was wet in bed. I would be having dreams. It would be in that dream I would be wet in bed and I would wake up and find myself at wet bed. They caused me to have those dreams. And those dreams, they come, they, you cannot come out of them. But we're praying against them today. Any such dream that they are attacking our young people, our children, man, like, the word of God is our fire in our mouth. We are consuming them. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. These stupid dreams, it has no meaning. We come against you in the name of Jesus. That device is, that is generating that dream in the realms of the spirit. That device is, those devices that are generating those dreams. We condemn you in Jesus' name. We destroy you in Jesus' name. Those dreams terminate today. You aspire today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You aspire today. We destroy you today. No more of those dreams. Mansule Bakaba. We speak to you in the name of Jesus. 
those devices that are generating that dream, those unclean dreams, those dreams, unclean dreams, you are about to say, Libra Kudas, we terminate you today. You will do say, Libra to Sakaba, we destroy you today. Mankude, say, Bakule Prati, say, Kula Baha, Libre Kobe, say, Kida Bahado, La Rapakata Tosaba. We denounce you. We renounce you in the name of the Lord. Marika Bakade, Libro Tusas, Makaba, dream of death, dream of stagnation, dream of fear. We come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We, you unclean dreams. You unclean dreams. We put an end to your works. Manduse Kel, Libra Dua, Mandusa, Mandule, dream about the dead people. Dreaming about dead people, dreaming about dead people. Today, we execute judgment on those dreams. We execute judgment on those dreams. We command those dreams to cease, to cease in their operations, to cease in their operations. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command those dreams to cease in their operation. Dream of the dead, dream of backwardness, dream of fear, dream of man cardism. Libra Kula Baha, Lebe Kudos, we put an end to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, La Paracadie, Lebe Kudos, oh, Bradisa, Libra Duce, Loba Kula Baha, Mande Kuba Duce, Mandise Kula Baha, Maduce Kedeses, Maladuso Sekaha, Libra Duce Soba, Mancade, Malida Sudaka, Medice Kidos, Sikido Sobadisas, O Bradisa Se, Sabadiso Kabah, Libra Duso Se, Sebaduso Sabah, Leka, those dreams are destroyed. They are destroyed. They are destroyed from their origin. In the name of Jesus, they are destroyed. Dream of fear, dream of the dead, dream of unclean dreams, unclean dreams, horror dreams. We destroy those dreams. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from this day forward, they will never occur again. They will never happen again. In the name of Jesus Christ, we, we denounce them. We denounce them. In the name of Jesus, we disconnect ourselves from them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Sula Bradehe, Eke Bradusaha, Libra Dusekebo. Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All those dreams that are coming to our children to terrorize them. We put that, we execute judgment upon them in Jesus' name. All those unclean dreams. We put an end to them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Dream of dream about the dead, the past relative. It, we, those cosbound fa familiar spirits. We put an end to those dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. And lastly, we're going to pray against those who are consulting to bring us from our place of excellence in our businesses, in our career. The Bible said they only consult to bring us down. But what did he say? He said they shall be slain, every one of them. Every one of them. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Those that are seeking our downfall, those that are consulting to bring Christ Embassy Colchester one down, those that are consulting to bring our youth down, to bring our marriages down, to bring our career down, to bring our cell down. Man, Karabaha. They are slain, every one of them. They are slain, every one of them, by the Spirit of the Living God. They are slain, every one of them. Buso leke. Libra du so kobaha. Seke bradule behehe. Libre kudo seke. Every one of them. They are slain, every one of them. Mandus ekadiza rabakuda. Every komala. Every consultation of theirs, every consultation of theirs, in the name of Jesus, as they consult, they are slain. Every time 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 they consult, they are slain. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mansule Bradusa Seke, Malu Bradusa Kabaya, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Like Bradusa. Libre kudasa, man tu se kadises, ma reko boba tu se ke, manido sobradin, se kadises, libra du se ha. Oh, glory to God.
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Glory to God. And say after me, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All those that have imagined mischief against me. Against everything that concerns me. As we consult together. To bring me down. You are slain. In the name of the Lord. All of you. You are slain. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All your lies. That you have spoken against me. All your conspiracy. All your enchantment. All your incantations. They are nullified. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, speak a word. Say, tell, say, say speak a word. It will not come to pass. For God is with us. Glory to God. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Worship him. Open your mouth. Worship him. Worship him. Like a dose of a Asuke bredes. It will not come to pass. It will not come to pass. Who is it that said it? Who is it that said it? Who is it that said it? And it come to pass. When the Lord has not commanded them. It will never come to pass. They are wishing us evil. It will never come to pass. They are wishing that we will fail. It will never come to pass. We continue to make progress. We continue to move forward. We continue to move increase. We continue to prosper. They will man see Lebra Kola Baha in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Prosper. Prosper, every one of you. Prosper. Prosper in the works of your hands. Prosper in your mind. Prosper in your body. Prosper in your finances. Prosper in your homes. Prosper in your outing. Prosper in your school. Prosper in your businesses. Prosper in your career. In the name of Jesus. Prosper. Prosper. The favor of God is with you. The favor of God has gone ahead of you. The favor of God has gone ahead of you. You are favored. Everywhere you go, you are favored. The favor of God is open doors for you. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Man, those aka we command in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Open you gates. Open you gates. Open you gates. Open ye gates that the righteous nation that keep the truth of God may enter in. Open ye gates. We command the gates to be open. We command the gates for businesses to be open. We command the gates for soul winning to be open. We command the gates for ideas to be open. We command the gates for prosperity to be open. Open ye gates. Open ye gates that the righteous nation that keep the truth of God may enter in. And be ye open day and night that the forces of the Gentiles may come unto us. Be you open in the name of Jesus. Every gate that ought to be open, be open for us. Be open for us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remain you open night and day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. Lord, thank you for your favor. For your favor, we are the preferred ones. Whenever things are chosen for good and names have been selected, Lord, we thank you. For your favor that surrounds us like a sheep, begin to speak. It begins to speak. He said, pick this one. Pick this one. The favor of God is speaking on our behalf. Lord, we thank you that your favor has gone ahead of us. And he has made every crooked path straight. We walk on straight path. In our path, there's no sickness. There's no disease. We walk in the path of righteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I will give you thanks. Hallelujah. Now we're going to give the Lord our tithes, our offerings, our partnership, our seed. Why the love would minister to us. God bless you.
personally when we're in trouble you delivered us and now Lord receive all our offerings all our tithe, all our seed all our partnership for the increase and the affordance of your gospel in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Father for increasing our fruit of righteousness and Lord all that we've given we invoke upon it the power for it to multiply for the affordance of the gospel in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the saint says Amen. Is anyone here for the very first time you're here? We just want to acknowledge you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister, good to see you. Give her a handshake. Just welcome her. Lovely to see you, sister. God bless you. Real good. Amen. Welcome to Christ Embassy, Colchester 1. Of course, maybe you were invited or you found our link online. However you came here, thank God. God brought you here. Amen. Jesus said, no man can come to me except my father draws him or her. So you've come here, it's not by chance, not by accident. The Lord brought you here for a purpose. We, we, we believe with God that what you heard today, the Spirit of God will amplify it in your heart and you begin to use it. Praise God. We don't want you to leave. After the meeting, one of our counselors will meet you at the foyer where they can share some information with you. And you can ask questions and they can lead you to Christ and should tell you things about what we do here. Praise God. I just want to quickly say a quick announcement. We have a few things. We have the uh, foundation school. If you are here, if you've not been through your foundation school, we have a foundation school where you're taught the basic foundation of our doctrines, of Christ's doctrines, and what we stand for. That's ongoing. And we have various partnership arms where you can be a part of. Rhapsody of Reality, Love World, Ministry of uh, Programs, many things you can, you, can, you can give to. You know, so, so think about these things. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then we have coming up on the 14th of 
April, we have our the visit of our group pastor coming in here. Our esteemed pastor, Nat Igori, he's coming on, on the 14th of April. And on the 14th of April, we, <coughs> excuse me, we have the praise night, right? Pastor announced it, praise night. So that's ongoing. And then we have our unending praise. Am I right? On the 10th, right? Yes, 10th, Wednesday the 10th. Our unending praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the major announcement I have at the moment. So I want us to rise up, please. I want you to look for, I want you to look for someone. Look for someone. And tell that, remind that one that, remind, I can take some photograph, okay. Remind that one that they should not allow them to bring them down from a place. You know what I'm saying? We just read it. Just remind them. Say, don't allow them to break you down. Tell them, tell them. Tell another person, tell another person. Say it like you mean say it like you mean it. Say it like you mean it. Amen. Don't allow them. Don't allow whether it's work, family, anywhere. Don't allow them bring you down. <laughs> Stay where you are. Stay where God has put you. Stay there. Don't allow them bring you down. Either uncle call you from where you say, ah, so and so and so. Uncle, I'm not coming down. <laughs> I'm staying where God put me. I'm telling you the truth. Don't let any news bring you down. That's what they do. Praise God. Because when you are sad, God, 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 can, God cannot do anything with you. He cannot do anything for you when you are sad. Praise God. Now we declare the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. And surely, God's goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives. And we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May you experience the favor of God this week.